Hello and good day. Today uh, we're going to do a quick video on the, the Condor EDC bag. Uh, this is going to be kind of a different video. It's not going to be exactly a review. I'll kind of show you the bag and this will kind of double in with uh, my EDC video since this is uh, kind of an extended version of it. So um, anyway, without further ado, let's just kind of uh, jump into the bag and kind of what's going on here. Um, I'll just say right off the bat that I've been pretty impressed with this bag. I've had it for, oh, I don't know, at least a couple of years, two, three years now. Uh, it's gone with me just about everywhere. It's a bag I throw in the, uh, you know, in the car. I do a lot of traveling, so I keep some of this stuff on me. It also kind of doubles as a range bag, or if I'm going on like a quick day hike or something, I'll uh, grab one of these bags. And it really, for that purpose, it's held up uh, very well. As you can see on the side here, what I did is I mounted a, um, this is a SOG seal pup. Um, the reason I chose this knife is um, just because of its, uh, the sheath was molly compatible. And, um, you know, obviously the, the uh, bag is, uh, is designed, you know, to hold uh, to hold Molly. Uh, in the strap here, I have um, just a, a SOG folder. I think it's a Magnadot or something, just a, a folder I don't mind thrashing on. Uh, of course, I have a pin here. Uh, here's my Spyderco Delica 4, uh, just kind of stuck in the Molly webbing. You can also get um, I extensions, Molly extensions for this for, um, I don't know, additional mag pouches, med pouches. I mean, really, there's all kinds of stuff out there. Um, as far as uh, the front pocket here, first of all, there's this uh, heavier uh, snap. Now, let's keep in mind, this is Condor. I know a lot of people kind of uh, brush it off as like airsoft gear, and I don't know. I mean, maybe they are right. It's cer certainly not like an operator gear, but you have to keep in mind the use that you're using this for. I am not an operator. <laughs> Obviously, I... Um, I'm just using it as a, an EDC bag and it's actually worked out very well. So you have a small pocket in here, I just, I don't know, I've got like stamps and band-aids and stuff like that. Um, this also opens up and uh, you can see there's uh, magazines in here, it has magazine holders. Um, there's also a webbed uh, pocket in here, it's kind of probably not coming up so well on camera. Um, there's also a pocket that is reinforced with elastic. I just have uh, like some batteries, my uh, additional uh, flashlights, my stream light, you know, a thicker one, more capable one, and then my small stream light coupled with this, um, I don't know, just kind of this outdoors guide. Um, like I said, it's good just to, to have in the car, have this stuff with you at, at all times. It's kind of a why not for me. Um, I do go to the range, I do shoot a lot, and it's nice just to have that stuff with you on your person at all times. Um, then in the front here you can see this is a, a sort of Velcro, you could put patches or whatever you wanted to do I suppose. Um, I just have some like snap caps, extra batteries, uh, uh, Victorinox and knives, uh, <laughs> Tums I guess. Uh, it just, just random stuff that I have in the front pocket there. Um, one thing I did notice, these zippers, uh, the, the zipper itself is kind of that, uh, that plastic and the real fine teeth on there. Um, I don't know. I, again, considering what it's for, I think it's fine. I would personally like to probably see a you know, heavier zipper. Into the main pocket here, um, I've got my, uh, you know, my shooting glasses, uh, you know, more ear protection and such. I've got... Uh, the Glock 27 riding down here with uh, a couple of conversion barrels for, for 9mm. Um, you know, just random stuff. I keep a, a pen. It's, this is an oil pen, um, you know, for, for guns and what have you. On the other side here, I um, this is actually just a kind of a, a small... Um, I don't know, tripod that I keep on me. Uh, ordinarily, the camera actually goes in this main pocket too, but obviously I'm using the the camera to film this. Uh, more molly webbing on the side of it here. Uh, there's also a pocket here, and I believe this is actually designed for uh, a gun. What I did, got the, the Glock 22 is riding in there, 
and I, I have some gloves in there as well, but um, again, it might be tough to see, but there's some Velcro that's lined on the inside here. What I did is I took a universal holster um, and, and just slapped it in there, and it actually it works super well, and obviously it's um, going to accommodate just about any pistol you want to throw in there. Uh, as far as the, uh, the strap here, let's get this out of the way. The strap here, there's also, there's more uh, molly on there. There's uh, another clip right here that you can uh, use for, you know, for detaching quickly or whatever. The, um, this is the, the shoulder piece right here. It's actually relatively comfortable. It's just held on by, uh, you know, these three Velcro straps and you can slide it up and down as well. Um, as far as the, uh, the inside of it, uh, it kind of has this breathable material. It's actually very comfortable to carry. Normally I just throw this over my shoulder, but I think it's designed as a cross the body bag. Um, it also comes with this, uh, this strap that you can unhook right here. I believe that's for your waist. I just threw my um, hearing protection uh, just so I have it with me at all times. These are, actually I don't even know what these are. I researched some uh, different hearing protection. I found them on Amazon. They got pretty high ratings. So, and I'm actually very, very happy with them too. These are, um, I believe they're Howard Light. I don't know exactly what version they're. But, um, like I say, for, for an EDC, uh, for a range bag, for, um, you know, a quick hike or something, this bag is actually, it suited me super well. It has taken a ton of abuse. Uh, again, might be kind of hard to see, but you can see, uh, you know, some fraying and stuff, but actually the stitching is held up uh, very well, and then, you know, you can just grab it by, by there. Here's also another option. It comes in, uh, I believe this is olive drab. Um, same exact bag, just different color. Um, you know, I've used this when I go fly fishing and stuff. It actually works pretty well. Uh, I don't have much in here right now. Oh, some uh, 5.56 five, ammo in there. But uh, this is just another version of it. It also comes in um, black and multicam as well. That first uh, bag I showed you was, I believe that was its uh, coyote brown or tan. I, I forget the, the designation they used for that. But anyway, all in all, uh, pretty neat, pretty neat bag. I've been very impressed with it. Uh, I like it, and uh, I would definitely recommend it to anybody who is looking for uh, EDC bag, range bag, really any sort of bag. I guess it's kind of become my uh, my purse, my uh, <laughs> my man purse that I get made fun of. But oh well, right? Um, I I dig it. Anyway, that's uh, just a, a quick look at the Condor EDC bag. Um, again, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just please go ahead and let me know. If you have any uh, comments or if there's a bag that you prefer, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks again for supporting my channel. And until next time, this is Chase signing off.